Well, I said, not going to be any more taxes. Well, that's, that's, worth, that's worth going somewhere right there, isn't it? Yeah, okay, woo, and all of that is going to be the way it's going to be on earth. He's going to bring heaven to you. No more crying. No more dying. Dying. When you got born again, you've done all the dying you're going to do. When it's, when it's time for you to get out of here, when you decide to get out of here, whatever, you just step out. Step out of this body to the presence of Jesus. Amen. Hey guys, before we continue, I found that 93% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. Click that subscribe button to support truth and click the like button to keep these videos populated within the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for your support and truth. Let's get right to it. You know, a few months ago, I came across one of Bill Winston's morning worship sermons. I took notes on everything that was said and bookmarked the video in my browser. Of course, as usual, I took the time to study scripture to find that his message was loaded with heretical doctrines from demons. When I later returned to find the video, I could see that it was no longer available on YouTube. So I went to the Living Word website. And as you can see here, August 13th, 2023 message, it's for sale. There are two services now. There's the 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. service. Now, I certainly was not going to pay for two services. So I had to guess one time the correct service that I took notes on, which is the only reason I purchased the service to begin with. It took me four hours to do all the preparation, not including editing for this video. So the devil wanted me to just forget about it. Also, the timestamps for the video were different from YouTube, but by the grace of God, <laughs> I ended up guessing the right video, which was the 9 a.m. service. OK, so that you don't have to purchase the service, but let's get right to it. Isn't that something? This angel, 185,000 men, one angel took care of. I said one angel or the host or whatever, but they took care of him. Now Hezekiah didn't have to go in there and fight and hope that he wins and so forth. He just sent his angel. And I'm telling you right now, it's time for you to start using spiritual resources. I think, you, I think you've been trying to get rich on your own. And, and that's a violation. Because God has put you here to act like God. God is seated. He's not getting up. He's got angels to do his bidding. And if you know anything about people who are very wealthy, they'll be on their yacht while other folk working for them. And it's time for you to get a yacht. It's time for you. Just the right section, man. We're going to talk about this today. Now notice all you hear is a bunch of silly black women edging this false heretic on. Saying, hey, pastor. Yeah, you better preach, pastor. Let's see, that's our people. Our people love to be entertained. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 6 says, These are the sort, talking about these false prophets like Bill Winston, these are the sort that creep into the houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away into divers' lust. It's not that Bill Winston talks about wealth. It's that that's all that he talks about. And not only that, he omits. He does that while omitting and twisting scriptures that will send these folks to the lake of fire. They can build a city. And uh, I'm going to have to go back over here. I got, I got to go back over here. If they can drive it down in the ground in a day, they can pay your debts off in a day. If they can pay your debt off in a day, they can find your man in a day. Oh, Lord Jesus. Maybe not. Maybe not. That's going too far. Excuse me. I, I think I went too far. See, he know what he doing. He catering to a bunch of silly black women. 
If this was a huge crowd of white women at Kenneth Copeland's church, he would never say that. And trust me, the synagogues be monitoring what he say because that's how he gets his check. He got double obligations. He got the nerve to rob God just to be at peace with men. In 2 Kings chapter 7, here's what the man of God said. These, he said that to people who are starving. He said, tomorrow, about this same time, it's going to be plenty. And I'm putting it on my own word, it's going to be cheap. Everybody's going to be rich. Everybody's going to have more than enough. And here's somebody using their intellect, 3D, and said, if God would open up windows of heaven, there's no way this is going to be. He said, you're going to see it, but you're not going to partake of it. Why? Because of unbelief. Now, I'm saying something here that all of a sudden, the army of the enemy who had everything heard noises. And they began to suspect that Israel had gotten together with Egypt or somebody and they're coming on them. Well, here are angels making noises. And the enemy got so terrified, they left everything. They left the tents, which are houses, in your case, mansions. Christ said in Mark chapter 10, verse 29, that those who forsake family, land, and houses for his name's sake shall receive 100 fold and inherit eternal life. And in Matthew chapter 19, 21, he told the ruler, the rich young ruler, to go sell everything he owns and give it to the poor. The scriptures often uh, talks about the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. The Isaiah chapter 61, 5 and 6 says, we, the Hebrews, we shall eat the wealth of the Gentiles. Proverbs twenty two sixteen. He who oppresses the poor and he who gives to the poor, he who oppresses the poor to increase his riches and he who gives to the rich, both will surely come to poverty. Okay. Psalm chapter 52, six and seven, the righteous shall laugh at the wicked who trust in his riches. Now, remember, Abraham visited the rich man who oppressed uh, Lazarus. Abraham was with Lazarus in hell, and they were there to laugh at the rich man, to torment him. But that's why the rich man asked Lazarus for the drink of water, because Lazarus was drinking water in the presence of the rich man, and he was, he was mocking him, tormenting him. Psalm chapter 51 verse 17 says the sacrifices of God is a broken and contrite spirit. I mean, you don't have that if you are rich. He's talking to the Gentiles and he said, woe to the shepherds, you greedy dogs, Bill Winston. The Gentiles and false prophets like Bill Winston, they're the ones stealing people's money to compromise the word of Yah. So, he got to read the scriptures that describe the forthcoming judgments against the Gentiles who live off the land inherited from shedding of innocent blood. I've talked about James chapter 5, which says your riches are corrupted. Isaiah 61 5, again, you shall eat the wealth of the Gentiles. Who is this referring to? Joel chapter 3 verse 19 says Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah, shedding their innocent blood in the land. Okay, Bill Winston would never talk about this. He would never talk about spiritual Egypt. Because that's what it's referring to, spiritual Egypt. And the peculiar people it's talking about is Edom, which is Esau, the father of the Edomites. Okay, these Caucasians. Spiritual Egypt. It's the Americas. This guy can't teach this truth because they'll remove him. Again, that's how he collects his paycheck. Much like Geno Jennings. He remind, he's a different breed, but he reminds me a lot of Geno Jennings. And this is why he lies and vaguely says everybody going to be rich with mansions. I mean, this guy's a child of the devil. I mean, I could see that demon in him. And your hands are just going to yeah. die. 
and it's time to gather. Sit down. Okay, now what am I saying? I'm saying that Jesus cursed a fig tree, didn't he? What happened to it? Look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> Are y'all with me? No hands. He did that with no hands. Tell me where you can get a tree to root up out of the ground with no hands. You can't do it. 3D, you're looking at that in the mind, you can't do it. And I tell you, I tell you, the man of God, the apostle, he said, go home, get your bills, put them on the table. Don't ask nobody nothing and put them all on the table and you speak to those bills. Now, how many people did that? How many people, how many people gonna be like that man that said, if God would open up heaven, I'm telling you how to do it. See, many times we're trying to get out of debt naturally and that can happen. But getting out of debt naturally, that could take a lot of time. Say amen to that. And I, I worked two jobs one time trying to get those bills caught up with. No, it still didn't get. I went down to HFC, they knew me by first name. Bill, come on in. They said, let's refi you again. You done refied for your last time in the name of Jesus. This, this is your day. This is your year. This is your month. This is your season. Come on, this is your time. This is, this is your, this is your earth. In Jesus' name. What am I saying? I'm saying that they drove that city down out of sight in a day. You can get your debts out of sight in a day. Get that healing on your body, come on, in a day. You'll be a millionaire and throw me out of debt. Everybody up in here, man. Everybody be rich. The Bible said that over in 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9, put it up there please. This is what God plans for you. Ready? Read. If I say that God wants you rich to the average Christian, to the average church goer, they would look at me strange, look at me funny, stop listening to what I got to say because I have just quoted scripture so the enemy had programmed them to, de to deny what I said and want me out of the picture. Well, I'm not getting out of the picture. I'm coming into the picture and I'm going to preach it from the housetops in the name of Jesus. Now you are the seed of Abraham according to Galatians and chapter 3 verse 29. And if you be Abraham's seed, then are you my disciples indeed and heirs according to the promise. The same promise he promised Abraham, he is now promising you. And look what he said happened to Abraham in Genesis chapter 13 and verse 2, if you will. I want you to read that. Ready? Read. Stop right there. He wasn't just rich. He was not just rich. He was very rich. Now I told you, you're going to that promised land and don't think you've got to do it in your own strength. Your strength is not enough to whip that devil. You know God's about to work something out that all you got to do is jump around three times and next thing you know, things are going to happen supernaturally. See, again, a bunch of silly black women jumping around to this folly from this heretic.
Look, Christ became poor that we may be rich. That's referring to eternal life that he died for us to inherit because eternal hell is the epitome of utter desolation beyond extreme poverty, beyond anything that you can witness on this earth. Then Bill Winston mentioned Abraham being rich. Well, many false prophets say this, but they never mention how Abraham visited the rich man in hell with Lazarus. It, what, just ask yourself, what is Abraham doing in hell with Lazarus if they are not there to torment him, to mock him? Okay, again, Psalm 52 verse 6 says, The righteous shall laugh at the wicked who trust in his riches. He never even mentioned these scriptures. Jesus rode in town on a donkey that's never been ridden. That's like a, a, a Bentley with a silver spur. That, that's like, come on now. See, I know some of y'all get mad at this because you've been programmed with a tree that say reject that. Don't reject it. Just take the seed, uproot the wrong tree, and believe God that you can feed the people on the south side from now on in Jesus' name. See, let me slow this down. Look, look how this demon, look how this demon got him walking. That's a, de that's a demon in him. That demon got him walking funny. That devil ready, ready to collect. He really waiting for that, that flesh mortal body to drop dead so he could collect. Because he knows that man is just a vapor. So, let me close with this. This is the right bunch I'm talking to. The Bible says that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. That's you and me. Black people are not the Gentiles. See how slick he is? They can't dare speak the truth. You can't hide the blessing. Amen. Lord help us. If that blessing is on you, you can't hide it. Let me ask you this. Can I hide this mall? Because the blessing is on you. What is it good for a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? I mean, Satan will happily exchange another eight years of you keeping your mall in exchange for your soul. When that blessing is on you, you can't hide it. You can't hide it. Look at Isaac. Isaac sold in a time of famine. And got how much? A hundredfold and the Lord blessed him. You name it. Look at Job. This is before he ran into his first set of problems. Look at what it said in Job chapter 1 verse 3. It gave the, the financial statement of Job. And it said that Job was blessed of the Lord. Job was blessed of the Lord and he was cursed unto poverty as a measure of his faith. Go back and read the book of Job. Job rebukes the rich. He, he rebukes the rich just as much as Christ. Amen. Amen. And I'm telling you, when that blessing is on your life and you trust and have faith in that blessing, you are not going to be able to hide it. You may as well move out of that neighborhood and go out there where they got them big houses. Well, because you ain't going to be able to hide it. That blessing gonna bring that car to you. That blessing, come on, it's gonna bring. <laughs> Sit down. See, look at this. Let me slow this down. See how they handed him the money? See that? It's a money grab. He pimping these clowns. The Bible says you'll receive the hundredfold with what? Persecution. Now with persecution. Meaning that somebody is not going to be able to like somebody. Well, I liked you when you was broke, but then now you done got, you done got rich and got sedity. No, you ain't got sedity. You got your mind right. That's not the persecution he talks about. You manipulating the scriptures. He's talking about a broken and contrite spirit, dude. Anyway, there was another part to the video that was cut out of the MP4 format. 
he went on to say how all your sins will be blotted out, but he gives no scripture. He just gives a money message. And he even had the nerve to shed some crocodile tears as he was saying something about letting the devil rob your blessings. And this man was just putting on a complete show. I mean, it's comical when the devil rebukes the devil, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I mean, Bill Winston, Kenneth Copeland, they both under satanic employment. They both have been hired by Satan. 